Good afternoon and welcome to the Multiplication of Binomials with me, your host, and Emily Guy, my assistant over here. Um, we are going to first figure out what a binomial is. Uh, binomials are two-term polynomials in the form of something like x plus y or x minus y, um, x minus 1, y plus 4, these are all binomials. In the context of radicals, binomials are um, just kind of a number in a radical that you add that can't be simplified. So something like 7 plus radical 3, I can't simplify that. And it's a binomial because there are two terms. Um, so a few things we remember about binomials. Whenever we multiply two binomials together, <coughs> we FOIL. So our example would be something like x plus 7 squared. We always do that as x plus 7 times x plus 7. First outer inner last, x squared plus 7x plus 7x plus 49 and combine like terms wherever we can to get x squared plus 14x plus 49. Um, the second thing to remember about multiplication of binomials are when we have the difference of two squares factoring pattern that leads to the factoring of two conjugates or in other words looking at the other way when I take a binomial like x minus 4 and I multiply it by a binomial with the opposite middle sign x plus 4 and we call those conjugates um, my product is x squared minus 16 because the plus 4x and the minus 4x are opposites and add to 0. <coughs> um, finally, squaring, which we just kind of did up here with x plus 7. Um, remember, we don't ever, ever, ever kill puppies and distribute an exponent across plus or minus. Right, Emily? No killing right, puppies? Right. She's saying right, if you can hear it. Um, so uh, let's start with number 1. We're going to just do kind of a classic FOIL on this, even though they are opposite signs for the middle signs, and we can just multiply them like difference of two squares. Um, if I go first, 4 times 4 is 16. Outer, 4 times radical 11 is 4 radical 11. Inner, plus 4 radical 11. And last, radical 11 times radical 11, we still have the negative, but that's minus, um, that's minus 11. There's no need to have the radical when we take radical 11 times radical 11, that's just equal to 11. Uh, combine like terms, your middle terms cancel. Um, we have 16 minus 11, which is 5. So this is a little weird. We multiplied two radical binomials together and we got a rational number, 5. Number 2, it's not going to be quite as straightforward. Um, remember, some of you may want to cross out the square and put radical 15 plus radical 3, so you remember to FOIL first. Radical 15 times radical 15 is positive 15. The outer, here's my trick. I'm actually going to keep that. I'm going to factor it further. 15 times 3 is 5 times 3 times 3. Um, plus another 5 times 3 times 3 in a radical for the inner one. And then the last is going to be plus radical 3 times radical 3, which is 3. Let's combine like terms. We have 18 plus... Um, I know this is going to be 2 radical 5 times 3 times 3. Where did the 2 come from? Well, I have a radical with a coefficient of 1, another radical with a coefficient of 1, and 1 plus 1, last time I checked, is still 2. Take out, let's go to the simplify the radical. If I hold these 3s out, 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 18 plus 6 times the square root of 5. Number 3, let's do first outer or last here. First. 6 times 3 is 18, radical 2 times radical 2 is 2, so my first term is 18 times 2. Outer is minus 30 root 2, inner is plus 12 root 2, and then last is minus 20. Um, look for your like terms. We have 36 minus 20, 36 minus 20 is 16. Uh, then we have 30, negative 30 plus 12. Negative 30 plus 12 is negative 18, and that's negative 18 root 2. Number 4, first, uh, we have radical, I'm going to keep that as, instead of 6 times 3, let's do 3 times 2 times 3, because 6 is 3 times 2, and then I'll see what I can pull out. And then radical 6 times radical 2, we have negative radical I'm again going to factor the 6 into 3 times 2. This time it's times 2. Inner is 2 radical 3. 
and last is negative 2 radical 2. Okay. For this first one, we can take out the 3s, giving us 3 radical 2. For the second one, we can take out the 2s, giving us radical 3. Plus, and then I have 2 radical 3 minus 2 radical 2. So now we have to hunt for like terms. Um, well, here's some, and they cancel out because one's plus, one's minus. And then we have 3 radical 2 and negative 2 radical 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, so that just ends up with radical 2. Number 5, well, we have another square. So let's write this by itself, or by its side. First, 4 times 4 is 16. Radical 10 times radical 10 is 10. Outer, negative 12 root 10. Inner, negative 12 root 10. And last, positive 9. Um, simplify, 160. Actually, that's 160 plus 9, so 169 minus 24 root 10. Number 6 is a foil. First, 2 times 4 is 8. Then the square root parts, 5 times 10. I'm going to keep that, put that as 5 times 5 times 2, because uh, 10 is 5 times 2, and that will help me later. Outer, we have plus 2, and 5 times 3 is 15. I know that's not going to simplify, so I might as well just put it as radical 15 now. Inner, minus 4. Radical 70 is also not going to simplify. And then last, minus radical 21. Okay, let's take out that 5. 40 radical 2, plus 2 radical 15, minus 4 radical 70, minus radical 21. It's a pretty big by a polynomial. Uh, nothing can simplify. Oops. So we leave it as it is. So now we square this binomial. Let's see if we can do this without multiple, or writing it by itself. Radical 6 times radical 6 is 6, plus, then we have 2 times, this would be 2 times 3, radical 6 times 2, or radical 3 times 2 times 2, since I always factor them out inside, plus 3 squared is 9, radical 2 squared is 4, um, 6 plus 36, those are our two like terms, is 42, plus, then these 2's come out as a single 2, 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, leaving behind radical 3. Isn't radical 2 squared 2? Where is radical 2 squared? Oh, it is 2. Oh, Nikki Vanomolo just caught me. Poop on me. Not really, that'd be smelly. Uh, 24. There we go. Number 8. Um, now I'm going to try this without Nikki, but Emily's looking over my shoulder, so it's going to be okay. Uh, these are difference of 2 squares, plus minus. My first would be 3 radical 11 times 3 radical 11, that's 9 times 11, minus, then my last is 4 times 2, so we have 99 minus 8, or 91, short lesson.